Hey guys, uh, this video is to show you how to get into your iCamera 1000, iCamera 2, and even the X cams if you get the 404. My previous videos just showed you how to just type in the IP address. If you had one of these cameras, you could get in and play with them. Oops. And you'd normally get right in, but after an update came through, now you have this, um, and you can't get in. It's a very simple process to get into these cameras still you just have to add a command line okay it's slash ADM for admin slash enable underscore UI dot CGI and then you click OK and then it should pop up and ask you what is the username and password for this camera now if you did a factory default on this the username is this administrator my place so I am got stitches on my fingers okay um, sorry I'm pecking uh, with a couple of fingers here um, okay so you got a okay at the top all right so that means that the UI is unlocked so now all you have to do is remove that command line that we put in and just use your IP as normal and you're in now if we were to go in and change first thing I always would want to do is change the um, username password okay sorry it's taking me so long to type all right we'll save that The reason I'm showing you this is because after you reboot, the UI gets locked again. Okay, so there's our new username password. So now if we were to reboot this camera, okay, before it reboots, it wants the new username password. Click OK. All right, so it's going to reboot. So now what you're going to see now is uh, after it reboots, we're going to be locked out again but all the settings that we changed in there will be saved okay now if you log out of the camera log back in tomorrow you might not see the 404 that's because the camera didn't power cycle but if you do power cycle it the UI gets relocked and like I said all the settings in there you know that you put in will still be the same um, why they lock the UI I don't know okay so if we let's just go straight to the camera like I showed you before there you go so there it's locked again so now what we're going to do is put in our command we get our OK and then we can log back in and it already you know has the same info but if it does ask you for the username and password again you would want to put in whatever you changed it to okay um, obviously mine's not administrator anymore because we changed it so that's just keep that in mind you're going to use the same the new username password that you created um, so now if I unplug this camera take it outside plug it back in it's going to work just as normal I don't need to log back into it unlock the UI um, I can use um, IP cam viewer I can use blue iris um, all the programs that I want to use with this camera work just fine I like I said don't have to unlock the UI the UI is only there in case you need to come in and change you know some of the settings okay and that's about it um, if you have any questions just hit me up um, if you like the video uh, just like the video and then subscribe uh, that would be great um, more subscribers the better and um, if you have any questions or like to see a video on any of this stuff, just let me know and I can always make another one. Alright, thanks.